What's going on guys and welcome back to another very exciting video. In this video, we're going to be talking about the tech industry and specifically, I do want to touch on Alphabet or Google stock because they are the big ones that have just announced their first round of layoffs and they have announced that they are going to lay off around 12,000 employees and this is absolutely insane what we are seeing across the tech industry right now and there's a lot of different conversations around what is going to happen within the overall economy economy with these layoffs. So I want to actually dive into basically what is going on with these companies and then actually take a look at something that we haven't seen or I specifically haven't seen from any other YouTubers or any other articles. And that is the numbers behind all this. There is a very interesting trend that we are seeing right now. But the question is, is it going to be enough to actually tip the scales and send the overall economy into a deep recession? So that is what we are going to get into here today so if you enjoy the video make sure you drop a like down below and if you want to see more videos like this one make sure you hit that sub button and we have seen a very interesting trend over the last few months what we have seen from companies that have announced these layoffs is massive moves up in their stock price and we'll get into some of these other moves that we've seen throughout the tech industry later in this video but we can see that google here today they announced again that 12,000 employee layoff and the stock moved up over five percent in a single day and this is not a small stock we are talking about a stock that has a market cap of over a trillion dollars and they have made a five percent move so this is absolutely insane what we're seeing some of these moves that are coming right after they announce these layoffs in this article they bring up a lot of very interesting points so we are going to walk through and take a look and i'm going to give my opinion on some of these topics but this article is titled alphabet's massive layoffs fuel 50 billion dollar market rally and analysts expect more job cuts will boost tech stocks. Google parent Alphabet and online retailer Wayfair on Friday became the latest tech stocks to rally after issuing massive layoff announcements to help curb costs ahead of a potential recession. So this is obviously huge. Alphabet is one that has lagged behind the market in terms of their layoffs. We've seen other companies over the last few months actually announce layoffs. We've seen Microsoft, we've seen Meta, we've seen um, Amazon all announce layoffs and Alphabet has been one that has been sitting on the sidelines they have tried cutting costs in other areas so they've tried you know cutting out parties cutting out gifts cutting out things like that uh and overall you know we are finally starting to see the dominoes fall where alphabet is needing to cut actual employees and reduce their headcount and alphabet is actually known for having very high employee costs so they have an average employee salary of around two hundred fifty thousand dollars, which is absolutely insane uh so obviously cutting 12,000 jobs is going to have a huge effect on their top line and bottom line. But there is always a flip side. So market values are going up, but we are also, what this article says, pushing millions of people into unemployment, which will give a recession a lot more potential. So I want to point out a couple issues with this. What we have seen over the tech industry and what we'll see here in a little bit, I have a breakdown of all the tech companies that have announced layoffs and we can look at their numbers. Right now, we are not seeing millions of people losing their jobs, right? We have seen you know maybe around 150,000 I believe the number is last year which is obviously a lot of people and we're not taking anything away from that that is a huge job loss but it is not millions of people we do have millions of people unemployed but we are also sitting at a, an extremely low unemployment rate which again we will take a look at here in a second so as we discussed in the intro alphabet laid off 12,000 workers on Friday and the stock jumped over 5% and this was an addition of 50 billion dollars in market value and the ceo came out and said the company spent too much after dramatic growth during the pandemic and hired for a different economic reality than the one we are faced today so obviously this is a big statement what he is saying is right now we have seen the economy fall in a very significant way their business has been affected in a very significant way and that reigns true specifically when we look at interest rates so what we have seen over the last year or so is that with lower interest rates, companies are able to borrow money and more freely deploy it against you know investments and things that could yield returns. But now that interest rates have started to creep up in a significant way, that becomes more and more difficult to basically employ or deploy cash to yield returns. Because what these companies are looking at is they are looking at hurdle rates. So if you are looking at a project and potentially looking to invest in it and you have to borrow at a 
2% interest rate, then you can invest in a project that could only yield you know, 3% return and you would still be making money. But when you turn around and now we have interest rates of 6%, let's say, then it becomes a lot more difficult and you're looking at a lot less projects. And when you have less projects throughout your company, then you need less employees to take on a lot of those endeavors. And we have seen something similar from other tech giants. So Meta is one that has deployed a lot of capital into a capital project that they call the Metaverse. And obviously as money has became more expensive, it becomes a little bit more difficult to deploy that capital. So Meta has actually announced and announced in November that they were going to cut 11,000 jobs. And since then the stock is up almost 50 percent so a lot of analysts are looking at this kind of tech trend where they lay off people and the stocks go up and seeing and thinking that the tech industry could actually surge by almost 20 percent this year the issue with that is this very next statement so the layoff theme will spread across other sectors throughout the year so this is another expectation from analysts and if we start seeing layoffs spread to other industries, if we see them spread all the way down to, let's say, the food industry, uh, restaurant industry, that is when we will start getting into trouble, right? A lot of those other industries and lower, you know, middle class industries, those are the ones that employ large and large amounts of people. And when you start seeing jobs cut there, you're not talking about 10,000 jobs, you're talking about hundreds of thousands of jobs. And that is where things could get worrisome because when you start seeing hundreds of thousands of jobs lost, that is a far and has a far bigger impact on the overall economy. So what I wanted to look at next is what is the realistic possibility of us getting our unemployment rate fairly high? So what is fairly high? That's what we need to first establish. Right now, we are sitting at a 3.5% unemployment rate as of December 2022. And that is a total unemployed of 5.7 million people and what we can see is we can look at history so back you know in 2019 we were actually around a very similar unemployment rate so that is very interesting obviously 2019 you know 2018 were very good years for the stock market in general so what we need to establish is where do we start feeling uncomfortable and I would say if we go back to 2008, if we start seeing numbers, you know, get above that 6% mark, that is when things probably start getting uncomfortable. And we could see, you know, even in 2007 leading up to the Great Recession, we were still at a much higher uh, unemployment rate than what we are right now, over almost 1%. So we are sitting, you know, here in February of 20, um, 2007, we were sitting at a 4.5% unemployment rate, which is one percent higher than where we are sitting right now. So what we can do is we can try and solve for how many people would have to be unemployed for us to reach an unemployment rate of 6%. So what we have right here is we have the 3.5% unemployment that we're sitting at right now. We have a total unemployed of 5.7 million people. So what we could do is a little bit of math here. So we could take the total unemployed divided by the unemployment rate, and that gives us the number of people who are employable within the the United States right now. And what this is saying is around 162, almost 163 million people are employable. So we just can take that number and multiply it by 6%. And we get that the for the unemployment uh, rate to hit 6%, we would have to have an un, a total unemployed population of 9.77 million people. And then what we need to do is find the difference between this number and our total, our currently total unemployment employed and that gives us how many people would have to lose their jobs you know over the next year over the next two years whatever your projection would be uh, for us to hit this six percent rate and that would be four million people almost 4.1 million people would have to lose their job what we can do is try and put that in perspective so what we can see here is over the last year what has happened within the tech industry so we could see you know last spring we were losing anywhere between five to ten thousand jobs within the tech industry then over the summer we saw around 20 thousand jobs lost per month and then you know in the winter uh, end of fall we can see it got up to around 50,000 and then here in January we have seen 75,000 jobs lost in a single month so obviously a lot of
lot of issues going on and we can see that the trend is not in a good spot we can see that it's gone up you know it's had these kind of step changes we saw a step change here and then we saw another step change in november so overall we could see again another step change maybe in a month or two or maybe this seventy-five thousand is a step change and we'll see this continue so what we are going to do is we are going to actually take this number and kind of project it out over the next year and see what we get to so what we can do is we can project job losses over the next year and for 2023 if we see the trend continue so right now we've seen again in january 75,000 jobs lost if we see that continue throughout the year we will end with 2023 900,000 people losing their jobs and that will only get us up to a four percent unemployment rate but what is very important to note is we need a lot more than big tech to start you know cutting jobs big tech right now if you look at google apple microsoft tesla and amazon these are their current number of employees and this is before a lot of the cuts that we've seen we've seen again google talk about 12,000 employees uh, losing their jobs so they're closer to 140 and then microsoft has also had some cuts and tesla has had some cuts those are not considered in these numbers so what this really means is again if even if google cut you know 75,000 jobs next month they would still only have half of their workforce so that is not really a realistic possibility i don't see many of these big tech companies cutting a large percentage of their workforce you know we're talking about five percent cuts we're talking about three percent cuts we're not talking about them cutting 50 percent of their jobs and that's what it would take for them to lay off you know 75,000 people so even if you know we see big tech reduce their employee count it's going to take a lot more than that what we would have to see is we would have to see a lot of these companies like restaurants uh, walmarts targets a lot of these companies that have large employee numbers and lower income employees actually cutting their jobs and that right now is not what we are seeing we are not seeing that if you walk into any restaurant right now they're always understaffed you have to wait forever to get a table and honestly you know they're always having hiring signs uh, up and looking for new employees so even if we start seeing you know some of these especially for in amazon's case where we see this 1.6 number amazon has hired a large number of warehouse workers if a lot of warehouse workers potentially start losing their jobs where are they going to go work you know probably some of them will go and work in restaurants you know that's not an unrealistic possibility the pay is fairly similar a lot of these restaurants have been upping their pay to try and be more competitive so you know we could see amazon lose a large number of jobs and the economy still potentially be fine but when we start getting into trouble is when we start getting a lot larger numbers. So if we see 350,000 people lose their job every month for the next year, we would actually see a total job loss over 2023 of 4.2 million people. And that would get us to that unemployment rate of 6%. So in my opinion, I do not see us getting up to that 6% number. I think we would have to lose a large number of jobs. Obviously, there is a world that it could happen where things just go absolutely to haywire and something that comes up that you know no one really expected but i think if things continue how we're seeing we're seeing inflation start to come down in a very massive way we could see the fed you know even off their interest rates potentially even decrease them on the back half of 2023 i think it's more likely in 2024 i don't think they're going to do a whole lot in 2023 but i think we'll see some stability actually come back i think the biggest thing that we've seen over the last couple of years is big tech has increased their headcount in massive ways and we're starting to see that equalize and i think what's actually going to happen is that's going to create a much healthier economy overall i think we're going to start seeing a lot of restaurants and lower you know paying jobs actually become more filled out instead of having a lot of these signs up where you know we're constantly hiring you go to wendy's you see they're constantly hiring you go to mcdonald's subway they're always looking for employees i think we're going to start seeing that subside a little bit and a lot of you know trickle down of these big tech companies you know big tech employees employees all of a sudden they go and work at smaller firms and then those people who worked in those jobs maybe go work at even smaller firms and we see it kind of just trickle all the way down to the restaurant industry you know being in a lot healthier spot and also big tech being in a healthier spot because they're not paying absorbance absorbent amount of money for their headcount so overall that's all my opinion again i do own microsoft i do own apple uh, i do own google so keep that in mind i do have you know a certain 
skin in the game for those companies. I like them in the long term. I like where they're headed in the long term, uh, but this is all my opinion. So don't make any uh, investment or financial decisions based off some random guy on YouTube. Obviously, always do your own research and look into these companies on your own. Look into the market overall on your own. Uh, this is just you know purely for entertainment and hopefully for a little bit of knowledge. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like down below. And if you want to see more videos like this one, make sure you hit that sub button. And as always, guys, have a wonderful rest of your day.